Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Sally Tucker and I'm the Chief Operating Officer. Next slide, please. So over the course of 21-22, we saw huge growth in the demand for urgent and emergency care services. This amounted to a 40% increase or almost 50,000 additional attendances to our ED and urgent treatment centres across all of our sites. We also saw just under 33,000 patients brought into us by ambulance. The next slide demonstrates uh, the growth that we saw in emergency care demand, uh, as I referred to uh, previously, uh, and just demonstrates the challenges that we had uh, within our services, but more importantly, the response that we saw from our staff in rising to the challenge of increasing levels of demand. Next slide, please. Throughout this period, we continued to care for patients with COVID um, with an average of 266 patients in our hospital each and every week. This was much lower than the weekly average for the previous year of 611. However, towards the end of 21-22, we saw the number of patients in hospital reach the same levels as we saw in wave one during March and April 2020. Next slide, please. Caring for the most unwell patients, including those with COVID, has meant we have to make some difficult choices here at the Trust in respect of our planned care services. And that was set alongside the national and local pauses in routine care and a reduction in patients seeking treatment for less urgent issues. When routine care resumed, we saw a rapid rise in referrals with 37% more referrals received than the year before and an increase of 26% or 4,700 additional referrals into cancer pathways. Next slide, please. The impact of routine care suspensions during COVID was a rise in waiting times for planned care and treatment. The Trust had previously made excellent progress uh, in reducing long waiting times for our patients. The number of patients waiting two years rose more quickly. The graph, uh, here that I'm showing you shows the growth, but more importantly, demonstrates the commitment and hard work of our teams uh, in order to reduce the waiting experience of our patients, as you can see uh, for the most recent uh, position. That concludes my presentation of activity, and I'll pass to the next Chief Officer. Thank you.